Everyone knows us for our troopy builds and our caravan fit outs. But this time, we're going board a boat. So on this one, we're gonna get it fixed up by the boys and then we're gonna get it ready for summer and get it in the water. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's a bit worse for wear, but we're gonna fully strip it, gut it all, and then get it fixed up, ready to go into the water. So we'll just give you a rough overview of roughly what we're thinking, but obviously as the build evolves, we'll um, just see how it, where it takes us. So we're gonna start with obviously the VHF, so we'll just replace this antenna. It's pretty damaged, so we'll get that one replaced. Um, we'll chuck some new clearance lights on the outside. Depending on where the budget leads us, hopefully we can chuck a few party lights on the outside. The boys do have a bit of a bold plan, so we'll see where it takes us. They just want to move this. So they basically we've got a lot of space on the inside that's pretty much dead space. It's not a very, very big area, which I can show you later. So they're just thinking about moving, cutting a bit of a hole out here just to free up our outside space and then unbolt this guy, move it forward. So it'll just collapse our interior space a little bit but just um, opens up the outside a bit, so we've got a bit more space on the back. Yeah, and then obviously we'll fix up the trailer as well. Just needs a bit of a freshen up. Fix up the wire and go into the back. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's dangling pretty low. It's got a couple harnesses there, so we'll obviously get that fixed up. New trailer plug and that. Obviously the first thing you do before we're anything gonna strip it is we're just gonna see if this motor runs. It does turn over. So we'll just get it a bit of freshen up and then see if it runs and then if we can get it running, that's when we'll start the process of stripping everything. Yeah, we'll jump inside and then show you what we're gonna do in there. Yeah, so we're gonna strip all the carpet out. Same thing, we'll obviously get all the paint taken off, give it a full repaint. We'll chuck a couple batteries probably in the front compartment here. I'm thinking two 200 amp hours, but um, we'll just see how we go on that front. Then we're gonna obviously get rid of the AM FM radio that's on it. And then we're just gonna go to a Bluetooth speaker. There's no need for an AM FM radio. Everyone uses Spotify these days and they go pretty loud. They've also got some lights and that on it. So a bit of a party feature there. Obviously strip out a couple of these speakers. They're not really required. And then we'll obviously change some of our gauges here. Just give it a freshen up. Obviously new seating. And then we plan on putting a little, uh, like a bait, obviously fish um, table here. And then we'll just end up, as we obviously push all this out, we'll get a bit more space and then have a bit more lounge space here. So maybe a little, like L shape here. And then, um, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Maybe we'll throw a light bar on the front. Who knows, we'll see what happens. But it should be a good little project for us. Just to obviously get into the boats and then fix it up and obviously test it out on summer. But yeah, we're pretty excited for it. Yeah, so we've already gone and stripped a little bit of stuff out. We've taken the old fuel tank out. Obviously you get the engine running. We just want to have some fresh fuel in it. So um, we're just gonna remove that for now. Just chuck a jerry can in to get it going, but we'll get a brand new tank just going down underneath there. Obviously we'll strip all this wiring out, got brand new wiring for everything. And then, um, yeah, like I said before, we'll obviously move the batteries to the front side, get a bit more weight on the front so it's not so back heavy. And then just even out the um, weight distribution a little bit. We'll obviously get a fire extinguisher, the flares, life jackets, all that fun stuff. We'll obviously um, fix up this, get it nice and fresh again. We're also going to chuck a fridge on the inside there. Uh, we'll probably just go for a chest fridge, but we'll just see how much space we got available. 
once we've moved everything and then we'll chuck the biggest fridge we can under there. We'll also, if the budget permits, we're gonna try to see if we can um, have an electric anchor instead of going to the manual, just be a pretty nice feature, just to be able to drop the anchor just electronically instead of having to manually do it. At the front, there's just got the windows are painted, so we're just gonna strip the paint off that. Uh, ideally, I would like to try to chuck some solar panels on somewhere. If we can fit them there, that would be a good place. The only concern I would have is obviously just the longevity of them. Being in the marine, they might just uh, crow it out. So I'll have to look into the solar panels to see if there's a way we can put solar on it. This engine's not gonna really put out any um, charge. So we'll obviously, so we'll try to chuck a couple 200 amp hours in it, but if we're drawing a bit of power, then solar might be a good option for us, but it's just whether we can find a way to make that work. So we'll look into it. Hopefully we can come up with a solution for that. Do also again have a couple of lights on the side that will all get replaced. We'll just go pretty much brand new electrical everything, get it all sorted and then we'll see what else is left in the budget after that. Yeah, so when we picked the trailer up, it only had three wheels on it. So we've already fixed up one of those wheels. So now all four are on the trailer. This is a bit of the scrap that we've already stripped off it, getting it already fixed up a little bit. Really now we just want to try to get that engine sorted and then um, once that's running, then we'll get proper stuck into stripping everything. We're still tossing up what color scheme we want to go for the actual boat itself. One idea that we've got right now is just a black and red. We'll see what happens. So if you guys have any um, suggestions on what color scheme we should run for it, uh, just let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear your opinion on it. Yeah, so our YouTube channel is Ready to Drive Anywhere. We're thinking about putting a little logo on the back with Ready to Drive Anywhere, but being a boat, you do drive it, but there's obviously other options out there. So we've got a few other ideas of ready to float anywhere, ready to fish anywhere, ready to drive anywhere, but we're still tossing up what one should we call it. So if you guys have any recommendations or want to let us know what you think it should be, whether it should still stay as ready to drive anywhere or whether you think we should change it to ready to boat anywhere or something, we'd love to hear your uh, ideas on that. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of a build series on this one. It might be a little bit longer because, um, yeah, we're just going to work on it when we've got a bit of spare time. So if you're interested in following along and checking out our progress, like and subscribe to our YouTube and um, we'll catch you in the next one.